Altering the genetic makeup of animals and crops can make food more nutritious and make us more productive as a nation. That's what the government says, and it's going to approve so-called gene editing to take advantage of post-Brexit freedoms. Regulations will be changed by the end of the year in England to allow scientists to conduct field trials in gene-edited crops without risk assessments or obtaining consent, a process which costs between £5,000 and £10,000. Well, let's speak to Chief Policy Advisor at Compassion in World Farming, Peter Stevenson, OBE. This should reduce dependence on things such as pesticides and hormones and antibiotics. Surely that's a good thing, isn't it? I can't really comment on the plant side, but the plan to allow gene editing of farm animals is very worrying. It could be a disaster for animal welfare. We've already, through selective breeding over many years, pushed farm animals to very fast growth rates, very high yields. For example, the chickens reared for meat uh, have been bred to grow so quickly that their legs and heart can't support the rapidly growing body. So millions every year are pa suffering from painful leg disorders, uh, while others succumb to heart disease. And I think gene editing is poised to make all this much worse. Are there any exceptional circumstances where you would allow gene editing, perhaps to potentially eradicate certain diseases or hereditary conditions? That, that's another way in which gene editing will, will be used to make animals more resistant to diseases. And of course, in some cases, that's going to be beneficial. But most or many diseases in farm animals stem from the very poor conditions in which they are kept. Um, so gene editing to make them more resistant diseases could just end up uh, enabling animals to be kept in even more crowded, stressful conditions than they are at present. You know, the right way to tackle most diseases in farm animals is to uh, keep them in what I'd call health-oriented systems, systems in which good health is inherent in the farming methods rather than being propped up by gene editing.